Now, China says it's willing to take part in a joint marine exploration in Benham Rise. Last week, the Foreign Affairs Department revealed it turned down two requests from China to explore the underwater plateau because of its refusal to have Filipino scientists on board. I spoke with Philippine Ambassador to China about the two most contentious issues between Beijing and Manila, the South China Sea, and Benham Rise. Here's my one on one. Do you believe when, when they say, do you believe them when they say that uh, they did not do anything except uh, do innocent passage, freedom of navigation, dumaan lang sila sa area? Okay, in diplomacy, there is an adage trust and verify. You take them on their word, but you have to verify. And this is the problem. We don't have the capacity. From a Chinese open source periodical yes. on, the, on the same boat, they said that the boat was engaged in maritime scientific research from November 26 to around mid-January in the Western Pacific. They don't say where. And they collected water samples and sediment samples. Now, the question really is, did they collect it in the high seas where, you, where they are allowed to do so? Or did they do it in Benham Rice where they have to ask permission? Or did they do it in an EEC, in the Philippine EEC, whether in Benham Rice or lower, in which case they have to ask permission? This is where there is no established where information. Are yeah, things are murky. Yeah, literally. Okay, so, and so, so there is so no way that we can verify. So in the future, well, so well, in the future, no, because no, my no. next question Kase, will be, what how happens in do? the future? How do we verify okay. Chinese activities? How do we make sure, how can we differentiate any future activities in Engage. China? This is where the importance of patrol or surveillance on this, via satellite or via a network uh, through allies to see if it really happens. That's how you verify. Well, well, the DFA representative in the Senate hearing last week was talking about uh, at, at least two applications that were rejected yeah. by the DFA, by the yeah, Philippine they... government. And then, in spite of that, there's still a research ship that entered. Yeah, the ship can research elsewhere. The question is to establish where the research was done. This is where the, the, the controversy is. But I think the point is, the underlying this, are the Chinese interested in Benham Rice as a claim, as a maritime claim? No, that one is clear. And so they are interested in it as, as a scientific, scientific research. Scientific research. Yes, because maritime scientific research is meant, supposed to be for the benefit of mankind. You share your data, yeah. to the, not only to the coastal state like the Philippines, but to, but to publish world. it yeah. to the scientific okay. world, and that's that's what we will. That's what we expect. Mr. Ambassador, let's talk about um, the South China Sea and the, the dispute. Um, sometimes now we're, we're not sure which one is the more contentious <laughs> one, Benham Rice or South China. But anyway, no, I think so, I think <laughs> it's still the South China still Sea. Still the South China Benham Sea. Benham Rice. I think the yeah. Chinese have gone way beyond what I expected them in terms of clarifying, in terms of. So they're, they're, to more make sure it not. they're more forthright when yeah. it comes to Benham Rice, but they, not they so much on right South right. China Sea. South China Sea, no, we, we definitely have a difference in terms of the view of jurisdiction. Yeah. They still stick to the 9-9 line, uh -huh. and we, we, we stick with, uh, yeah. okay. with our view of the regime yeah. of violence. So that, uh, will South China Sea dispute be on top of the agenda in the bilateral talks that are scheduled in late May? Well, it is a platform to discuss mm -hmm. uh, sort of the most sensitive issues. The, the pressing issues related mm -hmm. to this. Yeah, Mr. Ambassador, so w w um, what do we do about uh, the arbitral tribunal ruling? It's interesting because many times, repeatedly, President Duterte has said in so many words that uh, I, will, I will bring that up once they start to, uh, uh, once they start to extract Alibaba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, so that in other I words, it, it is right not, yeah, it's not going to be a front and center thing, even in the bilateral talk. I mean, how well, will it... All you have to do is stop. Well, in to other words, the we Chinese. have an arbitral tribunal ruling, but no. There's let, not let me much put the underlying thing. What we have won legally, we won't give up. Okay. However, when we separated the contentious from the non-contentious, to separate is not to give up the mm. tribunal award. It is how to use it. In other words, it, for, for 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 the Philippine side, it is now part of international maritime jurisprudence. Yeah. It is now part okay. of international law. So we proceed with international law as the framework. Yeah. Now, anybody who has dealt with the Chinese know that if you start your conversation by talking about the tribunal award, the conversation stops. stops. So what you have to do is this is precisely the approach. 
develop areas of cooperation, mm -hmm. areas of mutual benefit that are non-contentious, so as to develop mutual trust, mutual confidence, so that you come to the time that you can discuss mm -hmm. these contentious okay. areas.